whenever. Okay. Um, so, um, Kendra, I'm refuting um, the claim by Chi, saying that Walmart is economically harmful for America. So his um, secondary claims were, one, Walmart stifles the growth and opportunity of other businesses in the retail sector. Two, Walmart negatively affects its employees, taxpayers, and U.S. job market. Three, um, Walmart does not invest enough back into its surroundings and the economy. So um, before I start, all the sources that he used were um, just basically one. So it's kind of like a blog. You click there as a link, and it will take you to the next article. But it was really it was like a blog site slash art, um, article. So um, and um, again, the, the sources were not cited in the in the outline, so it was hard for me to determine what information came from what source. Um, there was also a lot of old data in his speech that was not accurate towards like what's happening today in Walmart. So. Um, one of his claims was that when new Walmart store opens up, surrounding businesses take big hits, and um, new evidence showed that Walmart stores have been have seen a decrease in sales, and that's due to um, new stores like Dollar Tree, um, general family dollar stores that have been opening up, and that's sort of the Walmart's biggest three rivals right now, and um, so those stores are making money again. Target and Kmart. Um, their, um, their sales have increased as well. So his claim stating that it stifles other businesses, that's not really accurate. Um, so um, the next one, uh, Walmart negatively affects employees, taxpayers, and the U.S. job market. It's not accurate as well because I found his evidence was back from 2003, but new evidence from which is last year indicated that um, from Doris Burke from Fortune 500 stated that 2.1 million people work in Walmart worldwide, and just in the U.S. itself, it's about 1.8 million people are actually employed. So, um, and again, Walmart is the largest private employer in the states and in Mexico, and uh, it does contribute about 8% back to the U.S. in retail sales, and then. Um, so he also stated that Walmart has low income jobs which have an impact on middle class citizens. And information that I found from this year indicates that from um, Ken Jacob from UC Berkeley Labor Center found that workers are now earning about nine to twelve dollars an hour, which is higher than minimum wage because minimum wage is only eight dollars. So um, his claim is not really supported by real data. Um, Um, another of his claims was that um, for every $100 spent by Walmart, only $43 stay locally. And I couldn't find any information on that, so I don't even know how true that is. That true that is. And um, so overall, um, my opponents claim that Walmart stifles the growth and opportunity of other businesses in the retail sector, and it affects and affects employees cannot be supported with accurate data. It does, but I did find that. Um, there's 1.8 million people being employed, so imagine if all the Walmarts were gone, what would those people have, like what kind of job would they have now? So um, Walmart actually does help our economy by giving those people jobs. And um, oh, and then and again, um, tar uh, Walmart targets low-income people by offering low, low um, prices of its goods. Which is there's I mean what's wrong with finding cheap things you know <laughs> we're all you know we're all looking for the best deal in town so um, that's pretty much it. Did you already give me an outline? No. Oh, okay.
All right, well, the main and secondary issues are clearly labeled. Uh, you've got a, a general challenge to the research, but it's kind of vague is exactly what what you were talking about on some of this. I think you need uh, some data that's a little bit more specific on that opening point. Uh, the one place where you make a reference to how Walmart is doing in terms of the local economy, you, you make a general statement about rivals like Dollar Tree or Target or a, a variety of other stores that might be competing, and you say they're being successful and they're doing well. I, I don't dispute that, but uh, I don't have any data on that. There's no source citation on this. Uh, information. I don't know that they are successfully competing in the same areas that Walmarts are, and that's what the advocate's claim was, so your, na your data needs to be a little bit sharper on this particular point. You have very clear transition to the second point. You have the general inter information about the impact that Walmart has on the economy based on the number of people that it employs. I thought your, your strongest piece of evidence was the average wage that the uh, Walmart employee makes, and you contrast that to the um, minimum wage, which seems to be the assumption that the advocate is making about uh, what people are paid there. Uh, again, I think you need a little bit more contrast with what the advocate's argument was on this particular point. Uh, you do challenge the advocate's evidence that for every $100 spent, only $40 stays local. But your challenge was basically, well, I couldn't find any information on this. Um, I think one of the things you want to point out is the advocate didn't provide a specific source citation, or if they did provide a specific source citation when you tracked it down, they had no explanation as to where these numbers came from. So it's not so much that, well, I couldn't find anything on it, it's that the advocate didn't provide anything on it. That's, I think, the way you want to present the argument. Um, I do think you do a nice job contrasting a little bit uh, the impact of Walmart versus the, uh, the if we had no Walmart, given the number of jobs that it provides and the impact that might have on the local economy. I think you could elaborate on that a little bit more. Your summary sounds basically like you're just trying to get out of the speech quickly and you're not quite sure how to do that. And I think you want to do a better contrast and summarize your argument so that you finish off strong. All right, thank you.